Hi there, it's Chris Hiltrew, head teacher at Churchill here. Uh, as many of you will know, I wrote a weekly update letter to all families over the course of the Academy's closure between March and July of this year. And now that we've reopened, communications have returned to something approaching normal. But these are still far from normal times, and I thought it'd be useful to provide a monthly update to you all. And this is the first of those covering the month of September. So in these updates, I will aim to summarise what's happened, where we currently are, and what's coming up. The updates won't replace our normal communications, like the newsletter and the website and email, but I hope they'll be helpful in providing you with a sense of the big picture. Um, and whilst many of you have told me that you like to read those letters, this is the video version for those of you who prefer to listen instead. So I'll begin with a review of September, and it's been an absolute roller coaster of emotions for all of us. We've been thrilled to welcome our students and staff back, but of course it's been accompanied by the anxiety that the pandemic has created and the endless work trying to make sure that everything is as safe as it can possibly be. So here are the main areas that we've addressed this month. The first was the reopening of the Academy on the 2nd of September, with all the students back in school by the 4th. And we're operating a full timetable with practical lessons where possible. The new timings of the Academy Day are working well. And after the initial confusion, um, school transport is now operating a bit more effectively. Students have adapted really well to the COVID safe procedures and the code of conduct. The key elements of that are uh, regular hand hygiene, including hand sanitizer and hand washing stations, separation of year groups in lessons and at social time, uh, actions to reduce crowding, including groups of six at social time, staggered access to the coach loop at the end of the day. Face coverings at times when year groups mix on lesson, lesson transitions, uh, at social times, in tutor times uh, and on school transport. And social distancing for staff so that staff remain two metres distant from students uh, wherever possible. Uh, these arrangements are going to remain in place for until further notice. Uh, we have no indication that there's any relaxation of those, and, and that's quite right, given uh, where we are in the state of the pandemic at the moment. As you'll know, we had two confirmed cases over the course of September, and close contacts of those confirmed cases were asked to self-isolate. The protective measures in both cases were successful, as no further positive tests were reported, and all the self-isolating students uh, have been able to return to school after 14 days. Attendance, excuse me, attendance for the month of September was 94.5% across the academy. This compares really favourably to the attendance from September 2019 to March 2020, which was affected by pre-lockdown absences and ended up at 94.2%. So attendance is currently higher than it was just pre-pandemic. We're especially pleased about this figure given the circumstances given that attendance at schools nationally is currently running at about 88%. In terms of the curriculum, as per our uh, reopening planning, we're operating as close to as normal as possible within the government restrictions. So practical work has resumed within design technology, science, food and nutrition, PE, art and performing arts, with additional protocols to prevent sharing of equipment and reduce the chances of transmission. All of our curriculum areas have carried out light touch assessments in every year group to identify any gaps in students' knowledge or skills following the period of remote education. And any gaps which have been identified are being addressed within the curriculum and, if necessary, through student services. All teachers in the academy are using our established teaching and learning principles to structure the delivery of the curriculum this year. And those principles were generated from our engagement with research into the most effective methods of teaching and learning. And you can find those on our website. We're continuing to prepare Year 11 and Year 13 students for exams as normal. Our advice to those students is to begin revision early and to ensure that all assessed work is completed to the best possible standard so that teachers have a really strong evidence base for assessment in the event that there is any disruption to the examination season in 2021. Remote learning was in place for our students from the 23rd of March 2020 until the end of the summer term. And during that period, 22,745 reward points were issued to students for 20,187 separate events, be they pieces of work, contributions to the academy, attitudes to learning, or demonstrating the academy's values of kindness, curiosity and determination. 
As a result of all those rewards, 426 head teachers' commendations were awarded and 205 governors' commendations. And we've learnt a lot from the experience of providing remote learning during the closure period. In the event of an individual group or whole academy closure, the academy will continue to use Google Classroom as the basis for providing remote education. Students who are self-isolating but otherwise well will be expected to attend their lessons from home via Google Classroom. Students should expect to find appropriate remote learning tasks for every lesson on their timetable during self-isolation periods. And remote education will reflect the planned curriculum as closely as possible. For exam classes, where feasible, we aim to include a, a live or pre-recorded video element. It's important, however, that families and students understand the challenges that this presents for staff. As well as preparing and teaching a lesson to the students in the classroom, teachers are also having to prepare and teach another version of that lesson to students who, through no fault of their own, are self-isolating at home. We are working hard to, re to build up our stocks of technology to enable us to provide this uh, service as well and staff are prepared for the eventuality but I, I hope you'll bear with us as we work through this phase of double planning our curriculum. Mental health and well-being is another key priority for us and the Academy received a healthy schools healthy mind status during lockdown in recognition of our work to support students mental health. The well-being team have created a new scheme of work called Knowing Your Mind based on the principles of dialectic behaviour to address the emotions which may arise for young people during the pandemic. Currently, the team is organising a presentation for students to take place during Mental Health Awareness Week. Ahead of the September start, our bereavement policy was rewritten and all staff undertook bereavement training so that we're as well prepared as it's possible to be to support our students through these challenging times. The coronavirus hasn't stopped our hard fought battle to improve the learning environment for our students. Um, the extension to the Athena Donald building opened to students at the start of this term, as did the new canopy area or year seven and the newly refurbished sixth form common room. Meanwhile, all the internal walls in the languages department have been completely knocked down, ready for the rebuilding effort to begin. Unfortunately, uh, the Academy Hall has been out of action due to a serious water leak which took place over the summer. But thankfully, work has started now to completely replace the floor, which was damaged beyond repair. And this should be completed during term two. And after a month under these new arrangements, the time is right now to take stock and to reflect. And to help us in this process, we'd like your feedback so we can better understand how things feel for you, the families who work so hard to support our students. Today, we're therefore launching a parent survey so that you can give us your feedback on the arrangements and your views on the Academy. And the survey will be open until 9am on Monday, the 12th of October 2020. And we look forward to hearing from you. The link can be found in the uh, emailed version of this letter. It's difficult to predict how the next few months will go. Uh, I'm not in the business of speculating and I think guesswork will help nobody. All I can be sure of is that we have an academy full of brilliant students and we owe it to them to continue to provide the best possible education and pastoral care through this global crisis. We're lucky to have such a dedicated team of wonderful staff, supported by a skillful and determined group of trustees. Between us, we'll do all we can to keep the Academy fully open uh, to as many students as possible, while responding to the new challenges that each day brings. I want to thank all of you for the support of the, the, given to the Academy so far. It's been hugely appreciated, uh, and I'll send another update out to you all towards the end of October. Many thanks.